Welcome back to our channel, everybody. Now, 2024 has been Helter Skelter so far. We've been competing in matches. We've been hosting matches with the Ultimate Rifle Championship, the URC in South Africa. But one of the most exciting things, I must say, from the end of 2023 up until now, March 2024, has been so many international companies and local companies launching brand new products to the industry. Some of those products re being really innovative products, kickstarting certain areas in the industry. And we've really, really been, I must say, not focused on our YouTube channel over the past few months due to us being busy. But we thought we're going to kickstart it. And over the next couple of weeks, we are going to bring you as many of those awesome new products launched that we can get our hands on. And today we started off with the brand new Apex Optics Rival X. Let me grab the box, show you what it looks like, and then we get to the optic. So, the Rival X from Apex Optics. As you guys can see, this is what the box looks like. It's a 4 to 32 by 56 first vocal plane optic. Now, Apex actually launched this optic mid-December 2023. There is a rival on the market. We've had it in South Africa. I've had it on the channel. I've done a few matches with it as well. The main difference between the two of them are the new Rival X has a 10 mil per rotation turret, whereas the normal Rival has a 15 mil per rotation turret. So not a massive difference, but suited for different applications. I personally feel that the new Rival X is extremely suited for your PRS type competitors that prefers having uh, running a 10 mil per rotation turret, bigger numbers, everything is bigger, clearer, easier to see. So let's get into it. Like I said, this is what your box looks like. The packaging is extremely nice. There's no optic in this box, just to make sure I do not let it fall down. So as you open it up, as you can see, the box is extremely nice. You've got a very nice foam insert. You get your orange branded Apex cloth. You get a sunshade. You get your battery for the illumination. And you get your turret tool, uh, Allen key that you use when you zero your turret. But let's get to the optic. So the Rival X also comes with pre installed flip caps that you can remove on both the ocular and the objective lenses. Now, main features on this is basically exactly the same as your normal rival. 34 millimeter main tube, 56 millimeter uh, objective in front. It's got the 10 mil per rotation turret, as mentioned before. Let me show you guys there. Hopefully the camera can pick it up and you can see big numbers clearly marked out. It's got a indicator on the top of the turret. So as you guys can see there, it's flat. And then as you go into your second rotation, it pops up. So clearly indicating to you in which rotation you are, if you are not 100% sure. It's got a zero stop that stops 0.4 below your zero. Now, one of the cool things about this optic that most of the newer age optics out there has and what I am a massive fan of is a 34 millimeter main tube. Now, a bunch of guys in the market have gone to 35 and 36. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, I mainly feel they do it to, to get more elevation out of it. I personally have not seen a massive difference running a 30 millimeter tube going to a 34, going to a 36 in clarity through your glass. Now, I've run the normal rival in a few PRS style matches last year, did very well with it, I must say, and I was very, very um, impressed with it. Never had problems with running out of elevation, and I switched over to a rival X. I recently ran it in a long range match up to one miles, did not run out of elevation as the caliber that I used obviously did very well at that distance. The reticle is something that for me is quite unique in both your rival and your rival X. Now, it's the CLR reticle. For those of you 
that have not watched my previous video or that does, that does not know, uh, Apex Optics are based in Canada. Now, most of the company are made up of awesome people, but most of them are competitive shooters. So they talk to people at matches, they know what the industry and consumers want, and they try and listen to them and put it into a package that they want. So they designed the reticle and it is just extremely user-friendly. You can go and check it out on our website, www.fanaticsgear.net, or you can head on over to Apex Optics website. It's decluttered, it's open, it's easy to use, and I really, I really do feel that makes a massive, massive difference, and it's a big positive for this optic. Now, as I mentioned, the 34 millimeter main tube, um, for me, it's, it's probably the go-to tube currently as the mounting options are endless. Easy to find on the market. It's, uh, it's affordable. Well, you get affordable mounting options uh, all the way to quite expensive mounting options. But it currently just makes sense to go for something like this, especially if you're in South Africa. It's, it's quite difficult finding 35, 36 millimeter mounts. You get spur that's out there that does assist with that. Um, MDT, but we don't have a lot of that as it's not, they're quite expensive, the Elite Rings, so it's, it's difficult to actually get your hands on it. And then obviously Grey Ops that offers 34, 35 and 36 millimeter options. But as I mentioned, the 34 millimeter main tube on the Rival X, um, I'm super stoked that they stick with this. Like I said, your CLR reticle, um, it's, it's really, it's an easy reticle to use, it's user friendly. The glass in this optic is exceptional. Now, all of their optics are designed in Canada by the guys over at Apex Optics, but all the optics are built in Japan. Now, all of us know that Japan quality out there is exceptional. Apex Optics offers a lifetime warranty on all their optics. They call it the Apex Oath, and really only there for if you are going to need it. Now, we've had Apex Optics in South Africa for probably over a year now. We've had no issues. We actually had one of the Team Apex members had an issue with a turret and everybody over at Apex Optics, they don't even ask questions. They just ship you a new turret, sort it out. Um, really, the after-sale service is exceptional. The pricing on your Rival X competing with the likes of really high-end optics out there is, is extremely good. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's about $2,400 to $2,500 in the US. South Africa, you're looking at about 49 to 50,000 Rand. Now, if you look at optics, it competes with, that's easy, 15, 15, 20,000 below. It's, it's really priced well. It's got a super warranty. Um, Apex recently got into it with Team Apex members in South Africa. We've got some of the top PRS shooters in South Africa currently running a rival X. Donovan Cook, Patrick Capes, Marinus Hartley, uh, for those of you in South Africa that compete in uh, PRS and URC, you will know all of them. And they were not, I would say, brought over to go to Apex, but they preferred Apex. They, they really had a look at a bunch of options, tested it, chat to everybody, and decided on a Rival X. Now, the Rival X is in stock in South Africa. You can visit our website at www.fanaticsgear.net. We are down to our last few units, and we will probably only get new stock in after Huntex. Now, for those of you that does not know, Huntex is our local trade show in South Africa where all the new manufacturers and stores go to once a year and uh, exhibit their products, launch brand new products. We will be launching some brand new products there as well. We will have the Rival X there. We will have Apex Optics Hunted there. We will have the Summit Binocular with the Reticle. We will have a big lineup of Apex Optics over there. But get on over to our website, read all about it, support us, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.